Hey, what's good, people? Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a fat 808 base kick out of a Thor from scratch. So let's just jump right into it. I got a beat here in Reason. Uh, right now the 808s are muted, but let's just play this through real quick. And here's the 808s that we're going to create. Let's solo those out. Cool. So let's jump in and make some of those real quick. Let's go create an instrument. I showed you guys last week this blank combinator that I have. It's really just a combinator with a mixer inside of it and some artwork that's pre-built on there. So I'm going to just go into there and create a new Thor instrument. Let's move this guy over here. And I'm actually going to steal the notes from him and move them down to my new combinator. So mute that one out let's go up here to the Thor I want this on mono retrig I can bring my polyphony down to one and my release polyphony to one as well you can probably get away with not doing this but just to be safe let's do it anyways in oscillator one I want to keep this and uh, this analog oscillator here drop it two octaves and move it down to a sine wave here at the bottom and let's move that pulse width up to around 90, 93. So in oscillator 2, I want another analog. This one I want to be a triangle wave. Pulse width up right around 90, 92. And the octave down 2 as well. So let's route that into our filter up here. The filter, I can turn the frequency up a little bit. And right below this mixer where it says balance one and two, I want to bring that all the way down to the bottom. And what that's going to do is for right now, it's going to cut out this second oscillator that we added in here, but we'll bring it back later. So don't worry about it. Uh, the next thing we want to do, let's hear what we got real quick. Okay. We got a bass, but it really doesn't sound like an 808, right? So let's go in and fine tune that. Our amp envelope is gonna be the next thing we wanna get at here. This attack, we can leave it around the same or bring it just a touch down. My decay, I wanna do the same, just bring it a touch down to about four. Sustain, I want all the way down. And release should be around one and a half seconds. And now let's play this one more time. Okay, so we're getting a little closer. It doesn't really have that percussive feel that we're used to hearing with an 808. It doesn't have that attack that we're looking for. So in order to get that, let's go down to our modulation matrix. I want to add in slot one, a modulation envelope. And in slot two, the destination is oscillator one pitch. And the amount, I want that right up around 65, 60, 65 ish. Okay, let's listen one more time. All right, so we're farther off with that, but it's because this mod envelope right here, the decay and the release are actually adjusting the pitch of our oscillator one up here. So we want a really tight percussive sound. So let's bring that decay all the way down to about 75 milliseconds and the same with the release. So play back one more time. Okay, so that sounds more like what we're used to because this is basically the main synth that we're going to be working with. You could you could leave it here and use this as an 808 and it will it'll work just fine, but there's a few tweaks that I like to make to it to make it a little bit more user friendly and kind of sit in the mix a little heavier. So to start that off, let's go up to our programmer and we're going to get this amp envelope to translate up to here so we can adjust things live on the fly through a MIDI keyboard or something. So let's go to our Thor here in the mapping software and in rotary one, I want this to be amp envelope attack, rotary two, amp envelope decay, rotary three, amp envelope release. And rotary four is going to be the mixer oscillator one and two balance. And that's this one down here. So let's real quick just name all of those. This first one is attack. 
this will cut off like the beginning of the sample and it won't click as much or you can fit some room for a kick drum in there the next one is the decay which will make the drum decay in volume quicker the last one is the release which will cause it to ring out for a longer period of time and this one here is our harmonic now this one is going to start off all the way down again because of this mixer that we have here and if we want to add this triangle wave into there it'll add kind of like a higher tone harmonic that'll show up better on cheaper or smaller systems that, that people might be listening to your music on so you can add a little bit of that if you want just don't go overboard the the next three here the attack decay and release you'll notice that as soon as we start adjusting these look down here in the amp envelope we're messing up all those settings that we had originally so let me give you those real quick so we can reset to where we were rotary one should be at four rotary two the decay should be at 62 the release number three should be down at 43 and again our harmonic is at zero so let's play through this one more time and make sure that we got exactly what we're looking for yep so there's our 808 now again you could stop here close this down and you have a playable 808 let's actually listen through and, and adjust some of these settings I'll bring the release down right or turn it way up now let's mess with the decay right so there's a lot we can do with these let's reset them back to where they were and make our final steps so we can again leave this synth exactly where it is but I want to do a little bit more processing to uh, let it sit heavier and and deeper in the mix so my mixer one up here I'm gonna drop the level of this a little bit so we don't clip out when we compress stuff and again the Thor master level I'll drop that down about negative five decibels and let's go right click on the bottom here and add a compressor you guys can add this M class compressor I'm going to use the McDSP 670. I'll bring the threshold down a little bit. The time constant on the 670, I want down around 1. Um, if you're on the M-Class compressor, you can leave your attack up a little bit past halfway and then bring your release down about to a quarter. And, and it'll give you kind of the, what you're looking for. And again, a little bit of a boost in the out. I'm going to turn this up to 1 on the 670, but it's a 4.5 decibel increase. So let's listen through and bypass that on and off and see what we got. Bypass. Right, so you can hear that we're really kind of just fattening up or deepening that bass sound. And one last step. Oops, let's undo that. One last step I want to do here is add a soft tube saturation knob really to just take it one more level of kind of compression and, and deep bass. I'm going to put the saturation up to about one and keep low. You could do this with a tape distortion from the Scream or with the M-Class Maximizer. And again, you really don't need it, but let's bypass it and see what it sounds like with or without this. without right so it's subtle but it, it gives you a, a lot heavier of a base so that's how you make a Thor into an 808 so I'll bring it into your your next song and thanks for watching make sure you follow me at just science on Twitter and check out my SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash indie for beats peace